It's Jasmine. Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another makeover today. I'm doing my mom's bathroom. So I really love bohemian style as you guys already know, but my mom is not a huge fan of it. So she wanted something that was more relaxing and neutral on style, more just like natural colors and textures um, and more of like a spa vibe. So that's what we went for. I absolutely love it and it's making me want to change my bathroom again so i hope you guys enjoy so here's the bathroom before you can tell the floor tiles and the shower tiles and the sink countertop is all really outdated the cabinets are even outdated although we could have updated them my mom wanted to just get rid of them because she's tired of having them this bathroom has been like this over 30 years i don't even know how long but i know my entire life this bathroom has looked the same way aside from changing out maybe the paint and like the shower curtain it's pretty much been exactly the same sink and things like that so we are going to pretty much remove everything from the way that it is and start fresh as you can see they need a lot of storage um, in this bathroom we're going to try to figure out some other solutions for storage but they do have a lot of toilet paper and cleaning sprays that they like to keep in here as well as their towel hooks and things like that they definitely focus a lot more on functionality than on style but we want to give them something that is a good combination of the two where we can they can feel comfortable here but still have a beautiful space so this project was super last minute. We found out Friday that we were going into demo on Monday. It was such a spur of the moment thing because my dad had broken the shower head. Then our friend Pablo came to fix it. And then they kind of decided then and there that they wanted him to redo the bathroom. So they hired him on, but he had a limited amount of time to finish it. So he started breaking open the walls on Monday and we had limited time to find the things that we were going to use to replace them like the fixtures and things like that the things that i would have rather had taken my time to find in research i had to just pick like from home depot or lowe's at like a quick rate so sometimes like less unique stuff but that's okay we were able to work with it anyway he broke open the walls because our walls were made out of plaster they were very uneven this is something that was popular around the time that this house was built he actually hung drywall switched out the window for an updated window and then he also broke open the door frame to add a new door I guess when this home was built the size door was significantly smaller than how they make them now um, so we had to get a new door and we had to break open the wall to do it we also did the hallway um because the hallway walls were really bumpy and those the ceiling was a popcorn ceiling so we patched over it as well i'm stopping by to see how everything is going for the first time so we're doing the hallway and the bathroom pablo Wow, it looks so good. <laughs> it's it looks really good. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I find a lot of things, you know. A lot of things, but it's okay. We fit it. How are you? Oh my gosh, look how good this looks. It was all like popcorn ceiling and bumpy walls, so he like smoothed it out and covered it with plaster. It looks so good so far. <gasps> Whoa! They reglazed this shower and it looks amazing. It looks brand new. Which we didn't retile it because it was going to be like $3,000 more. But this looks so good. Look at where they repaired the tile. And there was a broken tile here. And they repaired it and it looks so much better. It's looking good. This is day, what, day six? It's looking good. So since she wanted everything to be more like neutral and natural um, textures, we chose a tile that looked more like wood. 
um it's a very pretty one we got it was really inexpensive it was like under a dollar per square foot i want to say it was 90 to 95 cents per square foot and this one we got from home depot while Pablo was finishing up, I went out to start shopping. I went to Ikea first. My initial reason for going there was to get the Ivar cabinets in the natural wood color. However, you will notice in this video that I didn't end up using them. But I did grab some baskets for storage and this cute little plant basket with that plant inside. So we grabbed a couple baskets for the bathroom and this wood round mirror. I did want an arch mirror, but they're super expensive. So I think we're gonna go with this one at $60. Okay, so here we are today. We still have to get this, um, the shower system, like the head and then the handles. And then we just got the sink in and built today. And I was so excited I tried my baskets on it. Um, I do like this. It's super cute, though. I love the brass. So, yeah, it's coming together. We still need a toilet, and we're going to bring in a cabinet that will go here, I think. Possibly some shelving above the toilet. But, yeah, this is where we're at. So this is Pablo's last day. He offered to hang up our mirror from Target, which was the hearth and hand mirror. And then we were off again to do some more shopping. Me and my mom <laughs> stopped off at World Market and Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath & Beyond has some super cute stuff. We were looking at rugs. We were looking at some towels there. But the main reason why we went was because she wanted this bamboo furniture that she fell in love with. Um, she saw online which had such a spa vibe so we were deciding on which pieces we wanted we wanted a small cabinet and then we decided to go with the shelf for over the toilet she wanted minimal holes in the walls and she didn't want us to like screw in shelves so this was a perfect option then we stopped at world market and we were looking for just kind of like more unique things for the bathroom this rug was $24.99 we did end up buying it, but we are going to return it because we didn't end up using it. We loved this really cute bath mat, but it wasn't really going to work for the space. And then we saw some other really cute things. People overlook World Market because it can be overpriced, but some things like these smaller like soaps and candles are actually fairly priced um, for just upgrading your bathroom. Like this is like a $10 um bottle reusable bottle of soap and it comes filled so i think that's a fairly good price they had some waffle knit towels just like target and we grabbed one of these little scrubbers which is cute for styling it was only 2.99 okay so we're in the planter section and we came across this really cool planter and it has a little planter pot inside but if we take it out we're thinking this would be a really pretty hamper i was like wait is that the ground on this <laughs> but it's not there is a bottom on it there is a bottom to it but how unique and cool would this be and i think we're gonna get this little one for the trash can Then I got our shelf and I put it together and I had a cute little helper helping me and then I was off to work in the bathroom. So I'm back in the bathroom today. I grabbed this from Target and it's so cute. It's from the Hearth and Hand line. So this was only $13. So you could definitely DIY something like this with wooden dowels, but it's only $13. So I thought, why not just purchase it? <laughs> so. Um, I'm going to hang it here next to the mirror. So we're gonna hang a towel here, which they'll be able to like dry their hands and stuff like that. And then also probably style it with like a wicker basket, stuff like that. So really cool thing for us. I don't have to add wall anchors in and make more holes. Um, or larger holes because as we saw before underneath the wall was all wood. So I just drilled right into the wood and it's really secure. Now I'm gonna hang up the blinds. These I grabbed from Amazon and I was not quite sure what they were going to look like because they didn't really look like this 
in the photo. Like if you can see like the detail of it, you don't see that that much in the photo. So I do like them though. I think they'll work great for this space. I don't like the little like dark in between, but it's fine. It's not a huge deal. So my dilemma is how high, because I don't want them to just be right over the window. So I'm thinking um, we're going to have to go a little bit higher, which I should probably go get a chair. Um, and then I think that might work. Since it looks kind of floaty, we're gonna put because usually they're like hung inside of the window, but we don't have that option. So because they look a little floaty, I like to hang um, curtains over it, so it just kind of feels a little bit more uh, pushed back than just like right on the rim. So I'm gonna grab the curtain hooks that I have, the rod hooks for the rod, and then I'm gonna use a wooden dowel as. Um, our curtain rod for this window which is barely going to go just right around it we don't have a lot of space because of the sink so we want it to be kind of tight in but i am going to hang it a little bit higher just so it it makes it feel more luxurious and not su such a tight space We're gonna be organizing this closet in the hallway today. Do you wanna help me open it? Okay. Thank you, helper. All it is. We're gonna turn this into a linen closet that is organized. Let me do a half. As you could see, and just get it in working condition again. We figured out who most of this stuff belongs to. Okay. Our little culprit I here. Need another box. That's gonna be this How many boxes are yours? Can you show us? Okay. That whole box was yours. That brown box is yours. And now you're starting a new box. Mm -hmm. How much stuff is grandma's? Just that? <laughs> So I found these little art pieces I made in high school. I made this little turtle. It's so funny. My mom literally keeps everything of mine. I made this little music box. I had a ceramics class. That's how I made this one. Little music box. There's nothing inside. I think this is from like second grade. I don't see a. Yep, 98. I made this when I was eight years old. And then this I also made in ceramics class. Yeah, it's all dirty in high school. Mm -hmm. uh, wow, this is a solid, heavy vase. That's all we got. Does your parents keep stuff like this? So funny. Patched up some of the holes that were in here and I'm going to paint and then I'll probably go back in with some caulking and caulk some of the cracks just so it looks a little bit more finished. Probably be sanding the skunk down. And yeah. I ended up fixing this and painting it off camera just because of the tight space, but we will get back to this and I will show it to you later. Okay, so I just did some shopping at Home Goods, which the line was like two hours long. It was the grand opening, but I was able to find a lot of stuff. I didn't film because it was really stressful in there, but I did show you guys on Instagram if you guys are following me on Instagram, which you should if you want to do like my daily kind of stuff, kind of like a little vlog, I guess. But anywho, um, 
I'm going to start decorating today, which I'm so excited. We finally got the last piece. I feel like we've been waiting forever. It was stuck in Texas during the storms. So it took two weeks or three weeks for it to get here. So like the bathroom has been completely done for like three weeks and we've been waiting on this cabinet so I couldn't even decorate. So um, I would have moved forward with decorating but I didn't wanna like decorate it and then it get messed up and then like try to film it after it's like messed up. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna start decorating today, build this cabinet and hopefully be almost done. I may have to go do like a DIY art cause I have not found art that I like for that space so We'll see if I can come up with something else that I can hang up on the wall. But yeah, I got a ton of stuff. Okay, so here's where we're at today. They've kind of been living in here and using it. So I'm gonna give it a quick clean and then I'll start decorating. We can't really fit both the cabinet and the shelf here. So I'm gonna move them around and try to rearrange it. I think I'm gonna try to do the cabinet here and then the shelf still over the toilet. So let's do that. So I think we're gonna have to do it this way for it to fit. She really wants the extra storage. I would have done it here, but I honestly don't like the way it feels when you're walking in. And I can show you guys, but it's like cabinet, cabinet. So feels a little bit crowded. And I know it kind of seems a little crowded there, but at least it's a less visually crowded when you first walk in. So I think we're gonna keep it this way, but I'll show you the other option. So this is the other option is to have it here when you walk in which might be cute, but then I would have to move this, which isn't a big deal, so over here. And then repatch up the wall. Okay, so with all the different stipulations we have with space, I think, and the items that we need in here, I think this is the best setup. So keeping the shelf over the toilet, that's the hamper. So I think I'm gonna move this hook over here Hang our hand, hand towel there and then keep this here. As much as I don't like it as a focal point here from this angle, it's not as bad as kind of cramming that space back there. So I think the lesser of two evils probably is what we're dealing with. So I'm gonna start decorating and just kind of feel it out as I go. Um, cause I think that's probably the best way. Grab these bins over at Ikea, all the tags still on. They were like $10. So we're gonna use these underneath for extra toilet paper storage. Um, just to make it look cute, but then still be functional at the same time. Cause they have a lot of things they like to keep in the bathroom. So we wanna honor that, but still make it look presentable, <laughs> if that makes sense. So that's what it looks like from here. Also, we've decided not to mount this shelf on the wall because it's pretty sturdy when it's leaning. Um, so I think I'm gonna remove these because they're kind of an eyesore and just leave it without them. And then I'm gonna style this shelf. My work is I just grabbed everything that we have, brought it into the bathroom so I can kind of see where I want it to go and I know everything that I have to work with. But yeah, so let's get styling. Leave this for now and move on and then as I see things that can be shifted around, I'll probably move things around. I grabbed this from Home Goods for $9.99. And I use these all the time under soap. They just add like a natural element. 
and it just kind of warms up, especially because all of this is white, so I wanted to warm it up a bit. So I'm gonna put that there. this peg rack was that there would be nothing under it and then I would hang like this with like our um, waffle knit towel from Target these um, but since it didn't work out to put the cabinet over here I'm going to play around with this in this location but I won't be able to hang as much bulky stuff up here unless I move it so I'm gonna try it out see if I like it and then I'll move it if I don't kind of had a spa vibe. I couldn't find a whole lot, but I think these will work just to give off a little something here on top of the cabinet. Also, I found this little tray with the caning in it for, I think it was $15 at Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna use this just to like gather some items there and kind of set them up next to each other. debate now is and I don't know if anybody else goes back and forth but I have like this with this little tray I'm wondering if I should just bring these over there because they're kind of small for this space I feel like so maybe if I put them over there and bring something else right here I don't know we got this super chic um, tension rod which is really cute because if you see the ends they don't look like a typical tension rod it looks like it's actually installed in the wall and this was really inexpensive I want to say it was under $20 so we're gonna use that and then me and my mom were going back and forth on what shower curtain to use so I really love this texture it looks almost like linen um, and it's kind of like like a beige yeah kind of like a beige or a taupey color but my mom really loves just everything white so she said it's up to me so i can choose so i'm gonna try that one that i really love first and i think we're just gonna do these white curtains on the window that way there's a little bit of like i mean it's not really a contrast but there's textural contrast i guess like where that's more like just plain and then this has more texture so i don't know We'll see. I'm going to put it up and then see if I like it. If not, I'll switch it to the white one.
and then these items. So I didn't remove the label because I couldn't get it off and I was in a hurry, so. But you won't see it because it'll be like this anyway. But I'm gonna do a little touch up on these right now and then I'll put them in the bathroom. So I grabbed the waffle knit towels for this color rack. These ones, I don't really like these ones as much. These are cute for like in the cabinet, just for like regular use. Um, these are, I think these were like $6 from Walmart for like a large bath sheet. And then these are like $12 at Target for each one. So I got only three of these so that she can have them like for display. And then the cheaper ones are just for everyday use that when they get worn out or whatever, you just toss them and get new ones. Um, but these are the special ones. So we'll put them here. I mean, they can use them too, but they're just a little bit more expensive. Still an affordable towel though. Twelve dollars is not that bad. If anybody cares to see my non-professional spa towel rolling, I'm gonna do it right here. So these cans that I spray painted, I'm actually putting here um, on the shelf just for extra storage if they have like more cotton balls or whatever, little things, nail things, whatever, they can put them inside of these. Initially, I have this candle up here, but I found this like Riverstone little art piece for $10 at TJ Maxx. So I think I'm going to put this up here and put the candle back on the sink like this. Just because that's so spa, I feel like. <laughs> I'm gonna roll up some of these towels and put them in the baskets that will go in the closet, the linen closet. I also put these in here and they'll camouflage um, any of the like soaps or extra storage like Listerine and stuff that they need. We're going to put it in here, which we don't have any yet, but that's where that will go. And then I think she has some other towels that she wanted to save, which we'll roll up and put in this basket. Also, a subscriber named Sylvia actually reached out to me and sent me this, which I think is perfect for my niece's toys, which we'll store down here. And then there's space for another basket for more storage if she wants to do that too. So that's pretty much what we're doing in the closet. And our toilet brush is dry now. I'm gonna take it out. Oops. It's clean. I'm going to put it um, together and put it in the bathroom. Now we just have to find a chic little um, plumber. Plunger, not plumber. <laughs> okay, so I know it feels a little crowded, but the space is really bothering me. So I really want to hang this picture here. grabbed this rug at Hobby Lobby and it's super cute. It was only $10. It was 40% off. So it's perfect. So we did try to organize her drawers as best as possible. We got some of these little acrylic containers. Um, so we did like her hair stuff, the makeup pads. She's going to bring her makeup probably and put it in here. She doesn't have a whole ton. Um, here's some hair ties her brushes, this is where the toilet paper is. She didn't want to hang it on the wall. Um, and then some, um, what do you call it, poopery. 
but yeah so that's that and then down here is where the toilet paper extra toilet paper is and i think they're going to put some cleaning supplies they like to keep in the bathroom down there and then we also put um my dad really likes to have the antibacterial wipes so we put those in there yeah so far Love thank you guys it. so much for watching if you made it this far leave a little plant emoji in the comments so i know that you made it all the way to the end um this transformation was seriously amazing my mom was really enjoying it she, we hit all of the requests that she had for storage and the spa vibes and all of that stuff so i'm so happy with how it turned out let me know what you guys think also I have another video coming up pretty soon. Hopefully by next week, I will show you like a little patio transformation I did for one of my best friends. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. As always, keep spreading the love and the light and I will catch you on the next one.